H. Moser continues to make bold and striking masterpieces with their latest designs at the 2017 Basel World Expo. Yeah, so the idea is there's tons of simple watches out there. We, we at H. Moser have really high-end uh, watches and we, we were trying with this watch to yeah, find the gold number, you know, and all the proportions, the details. That's what makes the difference between high-end and entry-level uh, watches. So it all started with a, with a new movement. It's our new automatic. It's a, it's a high power reserve movement. It's um, 72 hours minimum power reserve. It's a big rotor. It's a 32 millimeter uh, movement that always, Moser is known for building the case around the movement. We specialize, we produce everything in the movements ourselves. So you have this big rotor that is bi-directional, so very efficient in terms of power uh, supplied to the mechanics. And, and then we created this beautiful case around it. There's nothing simple about it. It starts just on the, you know, it's a three-dimensional case. There's these three forms on the side here that gives a lot of dynamics to, 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 to this watch. Something that historically Moser has in all the collections, just interpreted in different ways. We'd see it afterwards with the other models. And then we have, um, we're launching this new, new uh, Endeavor Center Second Automatic with four models. We have in white gold two definitions. We have the funky blue, which is becoming kind of the icon uh, color for, for Moser. We see it in different models. Uh, it was supposed to be one unique collection in the beginning, but it's becoming so successful for us that it's becoming almost our identity. You see it on our displays a little bit everywhere. Combined with Kudu Band, which for me is important, the, the, the strap is part of the identity of the, of the watch. In white gold, we also have our signature Fumé dial. You will see that all our watches are using Fumé dial, except the animal uh, watches. Uh, that's our signature. It's something that we brought back. Uh, it was something that we had done about more than a century ago. And Moser started doing this 10 years ago. And now we, we bring in new colors and it's becoming um, so strong that on certain watches you'll see that we don't even put our logo anymore because we consider that these Fumé colors are our signature. So here we have white gold Fumé with a croco strap. We also have the same uh, Fumé dial in the red gold uh, case. Again, the beautiful case, uh, 40 millimeter, um, I think amazing proportions. And last but not least is the Midnight Blue Fumé. So it's a dark blue fumé. It's not as obvious as the others. It comes with a woven crocodile strap, which I think fits perfectly the, the identity of that particular model. Well, Moser is known for uh, practical watches. If you look at the very complicated movements that we have, like the perpetual calendar, it's the only perpetual calendar that goes forward, backwards, uh, extremely big date that jumps automatically at midnight. Uh, all our watches are very practical, but most of them, or all of them, were, were made in, in gold with 30 meters water resistance. And we wanted to create something where the, the watch is really like that practical watch that you wear every day, uh, but still Moser. Uh, and that's how we came up with the, the Pioneer collection. Um, it's a little bit bigger, it's, uh, it's 120 meters water resistant, um, it has Super Luminova, which is something we don't use in our classic lines. So it's the most sporty line that we have. It has a rubber strap or a croco strap, depending on what the customer wants. Um, and this year we're launching it for the first time in, in steel with the, the automatic movement that we found before in the, um, in the Endeavor collection. But this time it's not a gold rotor because we wanted it monochrome. We wanted also a, a price that is very attractive to our, uh, our customers. Um, historically Moser is, uh, is priced around 20,000. US dollar or 20,000 euros more or less and now we're down to about 11,000 which is really for us the, the first entry level. Same, 72 hours power reserve, um, as I said it's 120 meter water resistance, it's in 42.8 uh, millimeter case, it's this beautiful midnight blue fumé, uh, a little bit more modern, a little bit more uh, bulky in a way, in a positive way with, with uh, high-end watchmaking finishing, we have brushed, uh, sat uh, polished on the side and also a structure in those lugs that, as I said, we always work in the three-dimensional uh, the, the, the cases. Two sources of inspiration. The first one is the, the Swiss Alp watch came from the connected watches. Uh, it was a bit of a stunt that we did last year, brought a lot of light to, uh, to the brand. Um, it was really like speaking in the name of the watch industry and we made that, that watch which was a huge commercial success, not only in terms of communication. And this year we wanted to, um, to bring something a little bit different that we don't do usually. It's a jewelry piece, but instead of having pixels that you would find on a screen or on a mobile phone or on a connected watch, well we replaced those with, with uh, blue sapphires. And we're known for the Fumé dials, but this time we, do, we did that with, uh, with different gradients of, of blue on the blue sapphires. 
which makes it extremely complex to source. It takes us four months to find the right stones uh, for every single watch. We have 18 carats of sapphires and 18 carats of, of, um, of diamonds on it. It's very art deco. I think it's very modern in a way. Um, a lot of people came and said, you know, I don't like jewelry in general, but this watch is, is beautiful. And I think it's because of this kind of modern, not very typical um, uh, design that you find on, on, on this watch. But at the same time, it's Moser. And it's always important for me that people look at the watch and say, oh, it's Moser. Without, you see, there's no logo, there's nothing mentioning logo, uh, Moser on it. But always beautiful movements. As we know it, Moser is known for those beautiful movements. A lot of them are hand wound. We saw a lot of automatics. Um, but that's really in, in, the, um, in, in following the values of what we traditionally have been doing. Be sure to stay tuned and subscribe to the Dugascopy Fashion Channel. Click here for all of the latest trends in fashion. Got a question that needs to be answered? Try Dugascopy 911.